If you have any real understanding of the current gaming zeitgeist then you're probably well informed of From Software's reputation, as well as their most recent title, Elden Ring. You're likely also aware that they created a seismic shift in gaming culture a little over a decade ago with the release of Dark Souls. Since then we have been provided with no shortage of heavily inspired titles year after year from other developers, each one creeping nearer and nearer to the edge of a precipice, daring to create the next game that offers an ultimate challenge, paired with an ultimate reward. But with every inch closer to that elusive line of perfection, they risk plunging into the depths of scrutiny and criticism. To a large extent we've come to understand that the more brutal, the better the more stressful, the more successful. Sure, that's quite a sweeping statement, but with the Souls archetype becoming so favoured in gaming culture these days, developers have been unsurprisingly striking while the iron is hot. We are now inundated with experiences that see the player drenched in their own blood, sweat and tears, all in the hopes to best their digital nemesis. Whether that nemesis be in the form of a formidable boss, or something as simple as gravity. Perhaps I should address that opening statement. Games are fun. Humans are complex creatures and although I am more than capable of throwing around buzzwords like dopamine and adrenaline, or simply parroting articles that cover intrinsic motivators and self-determination theory, I feel the claim that games are fun adequately encapsulates how I feel on the subject. And despite the manner in which some of these people are acting, I would assume that they would mostly agree with that sentiment. Enjoyment manifests in peculiar ways. There's a good chance you found yourself in floods of tears while consuming a piece of media, and yet, while crying is synonymous with sorrow and dismay, there's an aspect of misery that we relish. For around a decade now, I believe I have placed a disproportionate amount of my enjoyment on the Souls-like genre. If this video serves as an introduction to my channel, then welcome, and thank you for paying an interest in what I have to say. If you're at all curious, feel free to peruse my other content. You'll notice I reference Dark Souls, or at the very least, Souls likes, on a regular basis. It's not always by design either, somehow during the construction of my projects, from software's talons embrace me, leaving me with very little choice other than to wax lyrical on their outstanding works. The thing is, those outstanding works and others like them scratch an itch. There's something about the challenge, the mysterious settings, the ever-looming potential of becoming lost after each and every corner. Perhaps it's the design of the... <laughs> Milestone reached. Long range Over the last year or so, I've begun to find a greater appreciation for games that offer a very different experience to that of Souls-likes. What was once a compulsion to find the next greatest challenge has somewhat plateaued. I've found that the method of relaxation after a long week of work is less frequently personified by the frantic unravelling of barbed wire, but instead the gradual calm unfurling of a nest of string. I still enjoy the struggle to beat a challenge and those aforementioned dopamine and adrenaline rushes still have their place, but equally or perhaps even primarily my focus has shifted to the more relaxing experience. Whether or not this is indicative of my own maturity or just an evolution of preferences I'm not entirely sure. I don't honestly believe the minutia of why is of much importance. What is important is what I find fun. And man, let me tell you, this, this is fun.